Okay, in this video, we're going to be multiplying a monomial, which is a singular term. That's the term on the outside of these parentheses that you see on each one of these. And we're going to be multiplying it by a binomial, which is two terms. Just like a bicycle has two wheels, we call binomials uh, polynomials with two terms in them. All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to realize that that means we're going to be needing to use the distributive property. So we're saying 7x squared times x to the third power. Now, the product rule of exponents tells us that when we're multiplying bases that are the same, an x and an x, we need to add the 2 and the 3 together. So 7x squared times x to the third power is going to come out as 7 x to the fifth because 2 plus 3 makes 5. And then I'm going to multiply 7x squared times a 3, which is going to give me a positive 21. I'm going to be multiplying that 7 and that 3. And then I need to include the x squared as well. So that is multiplying 7x squared times this binomial, which is two terms on the inside. Okay. Here I got the co or excuse me, I have the uh, monomial on the right side. No different. It's still attached with no operation in between, which means we need to multiply that by both of these two terms on the inside. R to the third power times R. There is a 1 above that R. We just don't show it. So we're going to add that 1 and that 3 together to make R to the fourth power. And 12 times R to the third is going to give me just 12 R to the third power. Okay. Now on this last one, we have a negative monomial on the outside. So it is going to change the sign of what we have on the inside. Negative times a positive is going to make a negative result. And 2 is going to stay a 2. While these x squareds, when multiplied together, we need to add the 2s. That 2 plus that 2 makes x to the fourth. And again, that is because of the product rule of exponents. And last but not least, we have this negative 2x squared times this negative 15. Ask yourself the question, a negative times a negative equals a, bingo, positive, and negative 2 times negative 15 would make positive 30. Don't forget to include the x squared that is already attached. And because there's no x on the 15, that would be our final result. So here are three different scenarios where a monomial is being multiplied by a binomial. Singular term times two terms on the inside. Singular term, two terms on the inside. We're using the distributive property, and on top of that, we also have to understand what the product rule of exponents does. And basically all that says is when bases are the same, add your exponents. So that 2 and that 3 made 5. We just did that over and over again. Okay, hopefully you understand this skill and you're prepared for your upcoming test. You are going to do great.